Hello YouTube, machete repair. Now normally we'd heat this up, okay, and then hammer it out. But this just cheap stainless steel. It take me all day to heat it. We're just gonna hammer it out. We're gonna use this first. If that don't work. We're just gonna take this and just start wailing on it there. Now, this is our yard work one. We hit a rock or something. Five bucks, Harbor Freight. You know, I had one that made a video where I chopped down, made it lighter. Well, I bought another one, and this one is nice and light, so we're leaving it alone. So there is a difference in these. You just get bad reviews because the handle would break. So I better sell this and say the handle will break. This is rubber, okay? They improved it. it. Used to be plastic, so it's a nice machete for five or six bucks. I don't know what they cost now. But for yard work, I don't know if y'all remember my antique cord knife. Same type I used when I was a kid, but no, this is what you use the whales. If will this saw wood, you buy one and you try it. I want your opinion. But here we go. We'll come back and we'll show you what it looks like and what hammer we used. And look at the end, we'll have before and after pictures. Okay, we're gonna call that good and then file it with a file. And when you when you hit on the edge like this. Let me show you. Go bang. Go like this. See how the hammer is curved? Go like go, go like this and try to pull the metal back out. Don't just bang, 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 bang. Or take this big edge. No, go go like this. And you can kind of see how I did it. See all the marks. Good enough. Let's file it and we'll come back and see what it looks like. Now there's two ways to file. You can file going into the edge, which I'll do to shape it, but put the final edge, I'll file coming out. I think you know what I mean. I don't do that on a pocket knife, but on a machete I will. So, I'll turn it like this, okay? And I'll take my file and... But to make the edge, I'll come in this way. I think you know what I mean. You can do it your own way, but I, that's just how I did it since I was a kid. I would never take a corn iron machete to a grinder unless you, you're trying to reprofile. Re and this is what that concave bevel put on a round. Remember, you got a grinder with a round stone that's going to always dish in, which I don't like, but you just got to live with it. Okay, stay tuned. We'll show you what it looks like with it filed. Okay, we are done. We had to actually take the edge off, which means file it like this, and then start all over again with your hand, because it was really damaged. Good enough. Y'all remember this contraption? Why this works good. Whoa, something just fell there on the bench. Hope it didn't scare you, it scared me. Okay, we're just going to leave that in there. Thanks for watching. Look for the little close-up pictures so you can see the damage.